researchers in the Department of Pharmacology at the University of Arizona. Recently, we've reviewed the use of animal models in understanding cancer-induced bone pain. We feel this is a very exciting area because of the numerous animal models that are being developed to study this truly devastating chronic pain state. Cancer-induced bone pain is an unmet clinical need in the fact that many people suffer from uh, this type of pain. Uh, over 75 to 95 percent of people with metastatic cancer have bone pain and it's usually one of the most common things that they'll complain about. And today the current therapy are simply things like uh, opiate analgesics or narcotics uh, along with either radiation and some things like bisphosphonates to try to treat the bone. However, there are very few compounds that will produce uh, the good pain relief and so we know that narcotics actually eventually lose efficacy because of the advancing stages of cancer in the metastatic stage. And of course the deterioration of the bone also produces lots of pain. And so there's really a great need to produce new, novel, uh, uh, efficacious analgesics for bone cancer pain. Cancer-induced bone pain models can be characterized based on the immune competency of the host animal. These include immunocompetent and immunocompromised animal models. The choice of a model really depends on the questions under investigation, as there are advantages and disadvantages to each. The identification of therapeutic targets using animal models of cancer-induced bone pain have led to the development of numerous pharmacological agents with validated preclinical efficacy against CIBP. Pain, bone wasting, and tumor burden are not entirely independent, and many agents that are effective in CIBP address multiple aspects of CIBP pathology. Mechanisms of CIBP pathophysiology revealed by animal models are multiple and varied. These include pharmacological bone remodeling, ectopic sprouting of sensory nerve fibers driven by aberrant neurotrophic expression, oxidative stress in the bone tumor microenvironment, release of pro-inflammatory cytokines and chemokines in the marrow space, and neurochemical changes both peripherally and centrally that promote sensitization. And so we hope that a developing models, as shown in this article, will actually help develop these new uh, uh, analgesics simply by understanding what causes the pain. Once we actually understand what causes the pain, then we hope that there can be new uh, analgesics discovered to meet and treat for this pain. Here in the Department of Pharmacology at the University of Arizona, we're working hard to identify mechanisms of cancer-induced bone pain and identify novel therapeutic targets. So we invite you all to read this review. Uh, this review will cover a number of different models that we feel are really appropriate to the patient population.